I'm just following up with this hibiscus uh, air layer that I did before it um, is really growing through my net pot. Um, it's only been a few weeks, but it's really growing through my net pot, so it's obviously taken pretty well. Uh, I've got some new growth up top, the tips, so uh, I'm going to slip pot it onto this six inch net pot that I have here, and then um, I'm going to let it grow in here for a couple of years probably. And after I've slip potted in there, I'm going to um, prune it up. Uh, pretty 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 readily here it's end of july so it'll have time to put on a little bit of growth before winter when i'll winterize it or put it into the garage or something so anyway um i'm just going to do that now and uh, we'll see what it looks like All right, so that last video is a time lapse of the uh, whole process. Uh, it was completely accidental. I didn't realize I had uh, touched the uh, thing and made time lapse. But anyway, so that makes for a much shorter video. But anyway, what you can see is I just up potted that. Uh, you didn't hear any of the voiceover. Uh, so um, I had a little kerfuffle with the wire, but I just made an adjustment. It's just got to hold it until it roots in. And in these net pots, it'll root in very quickly. So I just tied it in so it's relatively stable. Um, again, once the once the roots go in there, um, and I mentioned that my uh, bonsai mix is um, uh, pumice, akadama, and kiryu with a little bit of um, horticultural charcoal, uh, maybe 10% um, of horticultural charcoal thrown in there. And I have a little uh, sphagnum moss at the bottom and a tiny bit up the sides uh, to help keep some moisture in there. And also just to um, relieve some pressure, I pruned some of these uh, things back. I still left some uh, growth and you can see from the earlier prunings I'm getting some good bud back. Uh, so I hope that it'll bud back further. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this branch, with this tree. Uh, ultimately, I may take it right there because it's got a it's got a real nice movement here. And I, that's why I didn't cut this one from, from this angle. It's a crossing branch, but that's why I didn't cut this one. It's, it's not necessary with with this guy here, but I think my guess is that ultimately this guy's gonna go because that's a, this right here is a nice, a nice movement here um, with this branch coming over here, this one going in the back, so um, back branch. So probably some of these guys will go, uh, but for now, I don't know that, um, but we'll see what happens in the future. But uh, I just wanted to relieve some, some pressure on the root system. Um, again, it's the end of July, but I just slip potted this into a bigger net pot. It can sit in this one for a couple of years now, um, and it'll grow like hotcakes um, in these net pots. So this is a six inch net pot. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. So sorry about the time lapse, but there you go. Don't forget to subscribe.